Hi, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to my channel Rough Draft DIY. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transform an ordinary wooden box into a personalized gift. First, I'll give you a quick tutorial on wood burning, which happens to be a surprisingly cheap and very easy hobby. After that, I'll send you over to Sage Reynolds' YouTube channel for a very thorough explanation of how to line a box with velvet. I couldn't have explained it better myself and I didn't want to just regurgitate his words, so we decided to collaborate on this project. First of all, you need a small wooden box. Most craft stores sell a variety of sizes, but I found this one on eBay for only two bucks. It was already stained and finished, but I needed to sand all that off because you can't wood burn over it. First I removed all the hardware. Then I used 120 grit sandpaper and finished with 220 grit, which is a little finer. Even if you buy a brand new box, you still need to sand it down and get the surface nice and smooth and ready for the wood burner. Like I said before, wood burning is super easy and cheap. The tool I use is a creative wood burner value pin that cost me 10 bucks on Amazon and it comes with four different points for different results. Although it's an easy tool to use, if this is your first time wood burning, I recommend you check out Walnut Hollow's excellent in-depth introduction to this particular tool. It's a great starting point for technical and safety related tips. I'll put a quick link to this super helpful video in the description below. But before you can turn on that wood burner, you need to transfer an image onto your box. You can draw directly on it, or if there's a precise design or logo you want to use, just print it out and transfer the image. This was a Christmas present for my sister and she's a big Thundercats fan. So I found the logo online and printed the image. Pencil over the back of the image, then tape it to your box and trace the lines. When you remove the paper, the image should be faintly visible. Now you're ready to use the wood burner. First I make a light outline with a cone point, then I go over it again a little slower for a thicker line. The slower you move the pin, the thicker the line. After I got a nice outline, I straighten up the lines with a universal point. And that's it! It's a pretty simple process. Next, I'm going to apply wood stain to the exterior, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then wipe off the excess stain. Then I'm going to finish it with polyurethane. Polyurethane is similar to wood stain in that it is oil-based and absorbs into the wood, but it dries into a hard seal that will protect the wood from minor use and water damage. You want to apply one coat, let it dry, then sand it lightly with 220 grit paper. Repeat that process at least twice, maybe three times, until you're happy with the look and feel of the finish. Now that the exterior is done, we can work on the inside of the box. First of all, I'm going to paint the interior and the edges black, and then I'm going to line it with velvet. Lining the lid is very simple, and after I show you that, I'm going to send you over to Sage Reynolds' channel for the bottom of the box. But for the top of the box, just measure the interior and cut out a piece of cardstock or an old manila folder that is slightly smaller than the interior. Use double tack to adhere a few layers of felt, or you can use quilt batting. Double tack is a paper thin, double sided adhesive that is surprisingly durable for how thin it is. Then put double tack around the back edges of the card. Wrap the velvet over the front and stick it to the back. Cut off any excess and it's ready to install into the lid. Since this lining will be defying gravity most of the time, I'm going to use a thicker adhesive to secure it in the box. Now to line the bottom of the box, it's a bit more complicated, and this is the point where I'm going to send you over to a fellow YouTuber's channel for complete instruction. Sage Reynolds has a great two-part series specifically about lining a box with velvet. His method is one I'm using here, and I couldn't have explained it better. So please check that out, and I'll put the quick links to his videos in the description below. We are just about done, just have to reinstall the hardware, and it's finished. This would make a great personalized gift for a loved one, something unique that's just for them.
Thank you, Sage Reynolds, for collaborating with me on this project and making it possible. Also, thank you to my friend Dave, who initially gave me the idea to do a project like this. Couldn't have done it without you. Also, I have a, an Etsy store full of my handmade creations, and you can check them out at roughdraftdiy.etsy.com. Uh, that's a lot of information, but the, the biggest message is thank you for watching my video, and I'll have another one out next month.